two of our genealogical resources at the Herkimer County Historical Society. Uh, what we have is the map of the town of Herkimer, which shows the cemeteries, and also on the map it will show where the cemeteries are located. The, we uh, have notebooks for each of the town, 19 townships that show the cemeteries. And you have to remember that we only go up to 1930. You can go on www.internment.net to get cemeteries. You can also go on uh, Find a Grave. I'm going to show you now how to use Find a Grave. You type in www.find.net grave.com and so you'll click on find a grave there's millions of cemeteries in here once you get into find a grave you're going to type in the name of the person you're looking for and I'm going to type in Cornelius Perkins and I'm going to assume I don't know where he's buried so you click on search Fortunately, there are only 10 of them listed, and I know he lived in Stratford and Salisbury in Herkimer County. So you scan down through, and there he is, Cornelius Joshua Perkins. So you click on the link, and it will tell me that he was born January 9th, 1836, and died August 4th. 1929. He's buried in the Stratford Cemetery in the town of Salisbury, Herkimer County. And this, the picture on the left is of the grave, the close-up of the gravestone. Find a Grave is volunteer. People volunteer to go out and take photographs of the gravestones and then post it to the website. And there's another picture showing the entire stone. And you can also, sometimes people add more information once you get in there of family members. Uh, it mentions his two spouses, Margaret Samantha Shaver Perkins and Ellis C. Johnson Perkins. And it tells who his siblings were, and it only lists one of their children. But Joshua, between the two wives, had 19 children. And then sometimes the person entering the information will put what's inscribed on the gravestone. If you're looking for immigration records, if you're interested in Canadian passenger and immigration records, you can go on the Canadian Archives, and it also includes the census. Uh, their website is www.back bic-lac.gc.ca Castle Garden Immigration Records on New York City 1820-1930 they're also on Ancestry.com Ellis Island Records from 1892-1924 are on ellisislandrecords.org We have free newspaper sites that you can go on the first one is Old Fulton Postcards www.fultonhistory.com Other free newspaper sites are New York Historic Newspapers and Chronicling America Library of Congress. Now I'm going to show you how to use fultonhistory.com. I'm going to type in www.fultonhistory.com And it's the first one that comes up. It looks like an old postcard. It comes up, Welcome to Old Fulton Postcards. Just ignore that. And go to, click on, Go and Search My Archives. And this is what it looks like when it comes up. So over on the left-hand side where it says Search, there are different ways to do it. You can also pick how many items per page you want to come up. 
or you can, I always do all the words. Some people do bullion. Another, you can click on, we'll go to bullion. You can click on all the words or any of the words or the exact phrase. That probably isn't the best thing to do. I always use all the words. And I, I'm looking, I have a photograph of Cheney, Cheney Hammer Company uh, factory, and I want to find out more about it. So I'm going to type in, I'm going, I put in, quote, Cheney Hammer Company. And I know it was in Little Falls. And I'm going to put Little Falls in, in quotes as well. I'm famous for transposing. <laughs> and then we'll click on search. Hmm. And then you look down below and you scan down until you see something that says Cheney Hammer Company. The first couple hits only picked up Little Falls, but this one picks up Cheney Hammer, so you click on it. Then I go over here to oh, click on okay, open. Once you get the article to come up, you can enlarge it so you can see it. It's also highlighted, all the terms. This is Tommy, it's the Journal and Courier, Little Falls, New York, October 5th, 1897. And to quickly find your article, It'll, I go over on the little icon that looks like a magnifying glass. It has three dots in the middle. It's the find. You click on that and it drop, it'll drop, drop down a box and you type in what you're looking for. I'm looking for a Cheney hammer and it'll come up. You can get out of X out of that. And there's the article talking about Cheney Hammer Company. If you don't have the toolbar, generally the uh, search terms are highlighted. As you can see right here, Cheney Hammer is highlighted. Usually every, every computer has a snipping tool. Use your snip tool. Looks like a pair of scissors. And then you're going to click on New. Then you're going to highlight what you want to copy because we're going to copy and we're going to paste over into a Word document. So then we X out and it asks you, do you want to save changes to the SNP? And you're going to say no. Then you X out of that. Once you get your Word, you're going to do click on New. Right click, forget that. You're going to hit paste, and there's your document. Other resources in Herkimer County are held at the Herkimer County Clerk's Office, located at 126 Mary Street, has deeds, census, naturalization records, and marriages from 1908 to 1928. These all have been digitized. And remember that anything before 1804, the records were burned in a fire. Herkimer County Surrogate's Office, which is held on the fifth floor on North Washington Street, has wills, letters of administration, and probate records starting with 1791. The records are in book form. You have to go to the index first and then it will give you the book or the file number. Then you can go over and take the file or the book out and you can have copies made. We're always here willing to help you with your genealogical research. Our website is HerkimerCountyHistory.org 
or you can email us at herkimerhistory at yahoo.com or you can call us at 315-866-6413. Mm -hmm.